Greetings, everyone, and welcome. I'm just going to bring everybody in. I see we've got a whole lot of people registered, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Desi's going to be with us in a very short while. And um, yeah, I've opened up the chats and welcome, welcome, welcome. This evening, we've got a great lineup. We are continuing with uh, the VAR Hope, um, the body electric, looking at voltage, amps, ohms, watts, uh, resistance, hydration, oxygen, oxygenation, uh, protons, electrons, a very crucial aspect to everything we do uh, concerning quantum medicine. So really exciting. We're going to be delving deeper into that. We also will be looking at the psycho neuro hormonal immuno impact and that whole entire pathway and how it fits together. I will start off in the beginning talking a bit about um, the stress and stresses and just filling in the gaps there. And then we can um, have a look. There's two beautiful videos and uh, Daisy will come in and fill in the pieces for us, which is always very, very exciting. So absolutely wonderful to see you all here. I'm going to have a look and um, just bring the slides in. And, and and have a look at, at stress. So um, personally, as a pharmacist, I have witnessed um, the clients, people generally reaching out for, very quickly to reach out for medicines, the quick, take a quick pull, get rid of the symptoms, you think you're better. And um, only to find in a, in a matter of time, another symptom appears in another area of the body or the pain comes back and actually you haven't shifted from illness to wellness at all you are you for a brief period of time you were symptom free but you haven't really got to the root cause so i've witnessed this a lot i witnessed the over prescribing of medicines often not helping um in many instances harmful to the body so um, this is where, from my point of view, I really honed in and focused on, on natural medicine, quantum medicine, so that we can bring a new paradigm um, into the whole field of medicine. And right now, I'm very grateful to say, and, and you all witnessed to this as well, we're witnessing to the, this new shift towards self-care, self-responsibility, people reading up, researching, taking control of their lives, taking their power back, where in fact the health practitioner becomes more of an educator as opposed to a direct, um, here is the prescription, um, 15 minutes later, see you in a month. And you literally take your prescription and off you go and, and, and you know, sort of a good luck situation. It's very much a two-way con uh, conversation right now where um, we're doing what's best for the client and um, educating the client, creating awareness, awareness of the root causes of disease. And as we can do with our devices, wonderful, we can actually measure uh, the risk factors and then realign both with our, our quantum device and also with food state quantum nutrients. So let's just delve into um, the first part, looking at stresses and stress and um, just moving into the space here, quantum medicine. So here we'll be looking at, as I said, psycho neuro immuno um, aspects of, of quantum medicine, looking at a holistic blend of the mind, the nerves, the hormones, the immune function. So that will really be the main, the main videos that we're looking at. So focusing on um, the biological response to stress, let's just look at this aspect because um, if we can understand this, I think stress is responsible for more than 95% of all disease states. And it can be traced back to some form of stress. And, um, you know, living in cities, um, they're not exactly um, pollution free, chemical free, environmentally chemical free either. And um, our food isn't either, the air isn't, the water isn't. So whether we like it or not, there's stresses, but there's also stresses in place that are um, there as, as necessary perceived obstacles, if you like, which as according to Desi, we know are um, obstacles of the mind, but they are there nevertheless to assist us make those quantum shifts um, 
in other words, present day um, initiations. So they can cause a lot of stress unless you're completely on top of your game and you understand what's happening. But it can happen in a heartbeat. There can be a, a child can be in an, a car accident. Um, you know, anything can happen in, in a heartbeat and it can gonna cause stress. So we have to understand that our body being electromagnetic in nature is going to respond. And it's it's via the nervous system in the beginning. So the nervous system is the one that, that picks up on the stress initially. So the causes can be necessary for our own development, um, environmental pollution wise, et cetera, et cetera. Um, ancestral in, uh, inherited um, remains of emotional um, events, um, neurological, we can get so fixated on the trivialities of life that we actually forget to enjoy ourselves, enjoy ourselves. So um, those things have a big effect. And you'll see just now when I go through the cycle that, um, you know, if, if it's a stress, it's felt, it's dealt with, then it moved on fine. But when it becomes a prolonged, pro prolonged stress, prolonged excretion of, of um, stress hormones, prolonged activity at the cell level, that is where we get all these disease states happening. And the disease state will manifest most, mostly at your weakest point or where you're holding on to an emotion. And uh, we need to be aware, we need to be on top of our game so that we can understand both our, from our own point of view and also from the client's point of view. And we find that um, also from a genetic point of view, the stress um, is, is increasing, whereby um, you'll get diabetes, for example, happening in the granny, earlier in the daughter, and even earlier in the granddaughter. So, um, as stress accumulates, toxins accumulate, et cetera, et cetera, um, we are possibly weakening ourselves as a human race. And we don't really want to be the ancestors of, of, of the human race, of a human species that's on the way down. You know, we want to, we want to leave a DNA for our children and our children's children that's stronger than ourselves. So when we have a look specifically um, at at the paradigm shift happening right now, let's just explain paradigm shift because it's actually two intersecting lines. As the old paradigm shift is leaving us, the new paradigm shift is starting and there's intersections. And um, we are the quantum medical therapists, business people, educators, teachers who are on that, on the, on the upward, the new paradigm shift, okay, into the new global space. Um, whereby we have self-responsibility and self-care and whereby we want the shift from illness to wellness. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. So the, that leads us to getting baseline assessments, um, working out the causes of disease, making ourselves aware, and then adjusting ourselves from a life, lifestyle point of view, most important. And then working with the innate potential of our body and, and the wisdom of nature. Um, because as humans, we can't really second guess nature and the potential of the human body. So we bring in the building blocks, we bring in the power of the quantum device um, and provoke the improvement and the innate potential of the body to heal. And that's where we see the magic. So in a nutshell, this is really where we are. And looking uh, specifically to the biological um, response to stress, we've talked about the causes. Um, and let's have a look at it from, from, from these four aspects, if you like, and then Desi will come in and, 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 and fill in the, the pieces as well. So from my point of view, um, when we're looking at stress, I see Desi say, hello, Desi, welcome. Um, I'm just going to tail off and then we'll, we'll turn over to you. Um, what I wanted to just share with you all is the stress is experienced neurologically first of all all right and then that stress um is is carried in the body in the bloodstream with with stress receptors as well and reaches the hypothalamus where there's an instruction for a chemical message to be released which um goes to the pituitary then in the pituitary via the bloodstream there's again the um the receptors in the blood and the um the chemical message, 
which then comes via the adrenals, which sits on top of the kidneys. And this is where we get stress hormone being released, for example, cortisol. And then that cortisol will, 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 will travel in the bloodstream um, and interact with receptors of the body all over the body where these receptors are found. And, um, and this is where this interaction occurs. If it's quick, then, of course, the, the, um, the, the cortisol, the stress hormones will then carry in, carry in the blood um, and as, as the messages, messen messengers and then get switched off, right? The receptors get switched off. However, where this continues and continues and continues at a cellular level, this is where we're getting severe damage to the cells, the tissues, the organs, and eventually the systems as well. So we've got to then make ourselves really aware of the fact that, yes, there's stress. Um, people will come in, you will find the whole hormonal cascade disturbed. The nervous system will be, sensory will be picked up. The nervous system will be, be stressed. You will find there's adrenal stress. You will find there's thyroid problems. You will find um, blood sugar problems. You will find digestion problems. You will find circulation problems. And all of this is related to this um, this stress response. Now, remember that um, Sele talked about, um, and Cannon talked about homeostasis. We talked about this last week. And 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 maintaining of the the milieu all right and Sele said that anything that disturbs the homeostasis can be considered as a stressor so anything so we need to identify these stresses the causes make ourselves completely aware of it you will feel it in the body in any event possibly neurologically emotionally as well and then start dissecting it and working out how we can reduce the stress what we can give up and how we're going to move into the new space so the immune system is also called upon to come in if, if the if the tissues and the and the DNA are stressed, the immune system will also be called in to come and help restore if it's a, a toxic infection, um, to bring in the army, if you like. So then again, the immune system is drawn upon and eventually the resources, you know, they do run out and you get severe adrenal shock, you get bone marrow that's not able to produce enough white blood cells, red blood cells, beta cells, T cells, in case F cells, et cetera, et cetera. You get a hormonal system that's blocked that can't even come down the, the part, the cascade and instruct the kidney to instruct the bone marrow to, to make the, the immune system happen in the blood. And the, the liver normally gets, gets dirty and blocked and the bloodstream as well. So we're just not getting any feedback. So our job is to detox the body, most importantly, and bring in nourishment so that um, we can, the body, the tissues and the cells can then operate optimally. And we talked about specifically about the charge around the cell membrane and osmosis, allowing oxygen in and foods into the cells and then uh, allowing the waste to leave and also the um, water to leave the cells. So then we're getting optimum energy being produced and uh, complete homeostasis on, on that level. So you can see how emotionally, psycho, neurologically, hormonally, and immunologically, everything works together. It's completely connected. So I hope that you've got the essence of, of my short introduction. And I'm going to hand over to Desi, who's very obliged us. And she's here this evening again live to present the main part of the um, present presentation today. Thank you so much. Howdy, everybody. All the, the days are all rushing together. I, I forgot the day was Saturday. <laughs> Every day seems the same. You know, with That's the, true. That's absolutely true. Everything. And since you didn't, uh, you didn't uh, buzz me over the last couple of days, you know, and all of a sudden we were at a restaurant. And anyway, here I am. Desi, I had my birthday, and I wanted to thank everybody for their most awesome heartfelt wishes and i was busy having a birthday <laughs> so we got it together thank you happy birthday thanks happy birthday jane thank uh, you Rita's. basically what i wanted everybody to know a lot of people are talking about why is uh, is our system so miracle what is the miracle of, of hooking yourself up to the 
the Skio, the Aduked, or the, the QUEX, you know, what is the, there, there's a lot of miracles that happen. And one of them is the fact that uh, electronically, if you have a system that's, that is under osmosis, and osmosis means that something is passing through a membrane. But what each of our human, what each of us is, is we are a collection of over 200 trillion cells. Somewhere between 100 and 200 trillion cells make up the human body. And each of these cells is a cell that has a membrane. And in order for that cell to work, it has to take in oxygen and nutrients and other different things. And then it has to be able to give off waste. Well, in order for things to, for that to work, the cell has to have its proper osmosis. It has to be the proper energy. Well, what we have found is that with a pulsed uh, DC current, that is approximate to the current inside the human being. In other words, when we measure you in the calibration process, we measure your, your current. And if we could give you a subtle current that is pretty close to yours, no more than double, then your body will accept that current as if it's your own information. And it will free up the osmosis in the cells. So all of a sudden, nutrients start getting to where they've never been. And waste starts to detox. That's always been caught. And this is why a lot of times we have miracles that happen. Now, I made a little video today. Can you show the video? The first one I just sent you here on Skype. Okay, sure, Daisy. I made a little video that will help you understand. Oh, not that one. Not that video. Okay, not that one. No, not that video. Okay. Now that that's a video I made on the bar. I hope that's a nice video, but right now I want to do the one on the uh, on the cellular membrane. The second one. The second one, hey? I sent you today on Skype. Me. No, you said I think you sent oh, was it one on Skype? Okay, not the one on WhatsApp. Nope, nope, not the one on All right, WhatsApp. fine, I get it there. I get it. I've got it. Okay, let's see if we got it. Sorry, I thought you wanted those Skype ones. I got two on Skype from you. Yep, do the first one. Just check this one out, if it's the correct one. Let's see. Gold stamps resistance, vibration, oxidation, proton versus electron. The bar. That's it. We're going to today. And cellular membrane. Back in 1989, we registered the VAR hope as part of the EPFX with the FDA. Also, electrophysiological reactivity, the ability to measure a person's reaction to voltammetric signatures. And this was registered in 1989 with the FDA and now is registered all over the world as a medical device. Being able to do these measures and make a measure of the body electric to help correct it. What we call the body electric vital sign. And this work, this vast amount of work has been published at the International Medical University Medical Library and around the world. You can get copies of all the different research. You see, in the body we are made of cells, and the cells have a membrane, the dual membrane, that goes around the outside. And in this membrane there is an electropotential across the membrane of 60, 60 to 70 microvolts. And as long as this is a balance, if this is in a balance, if we're going to have health, this is the battery of life. And we can charge that battery of life. We found a way that we could effectively charge that. But now let's get back to the cell membrane. Because the cell membrane, in order to be working, this balance of forces allows then the cell to be mobile and to move. Because if there's an imbalance and the cell can't move properly, can't function properly, Things cannot get in and out of the membrane. And osmosis is how this happens. And with, with a little bit of electrical field, we can get an increase in the osmosis effect. So more nutrients get in, 
more waste gets out and all of life becomes better because we're able to increase the electroosmosis of the membranes of the cells. Everything works a little better. We were able to show this, that the human impedance and uh, everything in all the cells works better with an improved electroosmosis. Things can then move to their desired area in better fashion through life. With the system, we're going to be able to measure the body electric and treat the body electric and auto-focus the maximum electroosmosis pulse. This will help to wake up the body, move waste out of the cells, move nutrition in, and all of the cellular processes will be improved because of the increased autofocus electroosmosis, allowing us to maximize the healing effect with our machine. We are made of cells, and cells have membranes. And through the membranes, we need to transport things through the barriers of the cells. As we bring oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, ions, water, protein, macromolecules, nutrients, waste products coming out, nutrition going in. The different cells of the human body that make us up, trillions and trillions of these cells that have cell membranes. The cell membranes activate and work as to keep cytoplasm in, the DNA inside the nuclear membrane. And all of these different membranes are made up of fatty acids, phospholipids mostly, different types of things that have an electrical charge. This lipid bilayer made of these different types of phospholipids. Now the major lifestyle causes of membrane disease include eating fried foods, cooked fatty acids, not getting the fatty acids deficiency, smoking, toxins, Synthetic foods, bad digestion, enzyme deficiency, lack of exercise, lymph congestion. These are the major causes of membrane disease. And as we look at these things, they, they have this incredible action. You see, because the tails are afraid of water and the heads are attracted to water. This means that there is an electrical radiation as they keep the protons a certain, on one side of the membrane and the other, a less quantity of protons, electrical charge, on the other side. That this makes our, our cellular membrane. The cellular membrane is flexible. It can move. It can, if you jab it, it can move because of these things are not locked. They're electrically translated. If you hurt it, it tries to repair itself. As, like I say, the heads are attracted to water and tails are afraid of water. So this double layer of membrane that works, and it has an electrical function. The phospholipids will act as different uh, extension cords to be able to conduct electricity. There are also different pores that are needed to transport larger items. You see, because we have diffusion, where diffusion works by things from a high concentration to a low concentration, a type of osmosis. An osmosis that is enhanced by a stimulation of a pulsed electrical field. This is what we've done with our devices to be able to increase the action. Now carbon dioxide and oxygen are small enough to be able to just simply diffuse across the membrane. But other factors and other different nutrients as we see here diffusing, but at a certain time they get large enough that they need to have a more active transport. And the more active transport, is going, such as the sodium pump, the potassium pump, these things, these will need ATP energy to be able to function and work, as the cell will be able to, needs to be able to take in the glucose to make the ATP energy. It needs. We are all electric, we have a body electric, and there are forces that are bioelectric and then bioelectromagnetic. The bioelectric are the minimal needs of nutrition and waste release and getting these functions, whereas the bioelectromagnetic have secondary effects on genetics to do all these things. And here we see a band of the DNA type structure 
We're going to back off slowly as we see the DNA molecule. And now as we're going into the cell, coming into the cell, we're going to pass through one of the little pores in the cell membrane. You see? Passing through. Now we can see the cell. And we watch the cell move. Now all of this depends on an electrical function. The bioelectromagnetic are operated from outside of the cell, whereas the bioelectro system works from inside the cell for the trigger. These are all designed to help cellular processes to work and to monitor and keep up the functions of life. Electroformation. And as we go into the cell, what holds its shape is the cytoskeleton made up of the microfilaments and also very importantly the microtubules. The microtubules will allow not just a structure but also a conveying of the electrical energy field. In other words, the microtubules will help to convey a resonant frequency of the cell and a resonant frequency of the organism. Now disease will start when there's an imbalance across the membrane. Either the, the membrane internally gets weak, the battery loses its charge, or there's an imbalance. This is usually caused by tobacco, sugar, bad fatty acids, cooked food, synthetic chemicals, stress, trauma, toxicity. These are the usual causes of all disease, and they cause cellular disease. The brain should be trying to balance these functions, but along comes electro smoke, all the other different toxins, the causes of disease, and then this creates a problem at the membrane, and thereby we have disease starting at the intercellular level. We can autofocus this with our maximum process using our technology to be able to maximize, because ideally we should be resetting the clock and the cellular membrane should be all be tightened up while we sleep. There should be the proper amount of microvolts. There should be the proper amount of gauss. This is a magnetic measure. And then thereby, as we sleep and rest, all the different systems come back into line and we help to balance it. One of the real reasons that we need sleep to help reset our cellular membranes. This is all done through the system called life where all of the cells act as one to help come together and thereby allow the intimacies of nutrition going in and toxins going out of the membrane. This is the factors of life done by the controlling factors of our biology. Now the causes of disease, stress, lack of awareness, heredity, mental factors, allergies, trauma, pathogens, purpose energy, deficiency, excess of nutrients. All of these things have to be studied in order for us to do a proper medicine. And we have to recognize that by electrostimulation, with a little bit of fine tune, we can get back to health and we can resist the causes of disease better. We should try to remove the causes of disease, but sometimes we can't. But we need to be able to get our osmosis working better. And with the auto-tuned, auto-focused electroosmosis, we can maximize the system. The potential difference As of each of internal and external layers disease, is not equal in terms of volume and amount, the and the polarities are not precise, a type of bioelectric imbalance of cell, cell walls takes place. The inequity appears in the following general forms. To now, as we understand, we see that there's a healthy system of balance, nutrients going in, a. waste going out. Negative bioelectric negative inequity. Bioelectric in inequality. this form of inequity, if the external Where cover has plus 60 millivolt bioelectric charge, the internal cover will have more than minus 60 millivolts. Go down. Here we have the low body voltage. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired get fatigued, stressed. V. 
positive bioelectric inequity. In this form of inequity, if the external cover has plus 60 millivolts bioelectric charge, the internal cover will have less than minus 60 millivolts. And when this happens, you get excess. When you get the excess, then it can create a greater bit of problem. Our system is capable of balancing Same. both. Reverse then there's also the reverse potential difference. Inequality, In this form of inequality, the external cover that should have positive bioelectric charge positive, has negative charge, negative. and vice versa, the negative, internal cover that should positive. be negative will become this positive. Very rare, but can happen. So we've done a host of different studies to be able to demonstrate the healing potentials of the skio, the detox potentials, and the ability to recharge your batteries, recharge your bioelectric cells. And through use of a cybernetic autofocus loop, measuring the body electric, tuning the body electric through electrostimulation, guided autofocused electrostimulation, this loop can now maximize the process of maximizing the electroosmosis, which will help to trigger the proper waste release, the proper nutrition intake, and to help to get you back to balance. Back to the brain doing its job. Alerting the cells. Being able to bring nutrition in to the cells to do the job and release the toxins outside. All this done to maximize life. With the autofocus to maximize electroosmosis, and thereby there's 7 billion people in the world. 6 billion people need this system, and over 3 billion people can afford it. I had a little problem on that video I made today, a couple of uh, voiceovers I didn't uh, erase in the background. I'll, I'll fix that. <laughs> I think, I mean, don't don't even worry, Daisy. This has been one of the most amazing videos I've ever watched. And I really want to compliment you because it explains everything that needs to happen from a health point of view. It explains exactly what we're doing with our quantum devices. And if anybody didn't get what you're saying now, they need to type in because if you get this, you know what you're doing as, as a healer, as a therapist, as a practitioner. This is key to health. <laughs> That's all I can say. And it's just music to my ears because I just love all of this. And thank you. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's really uh, so freaking complex. Any one cell is more complex than we can understand. Mm -hmm. Just the activity of one cell is more complex than, than the human being you know, it could possibly understand. Now you put all of those cells together and it becomes so complex. You see, you know, so uh, nature is so awe-inspiring and it's infinity mm -hmm. to the power of infinity. So we have to be able to get to some laws and some understanding. Now that's why uh, I came up with uh, uh, the picture I sent you. On Skype, oh, I, I, I have it uh, said yet. There it goes. Okay, a uh, uh, picture on Skype. Okay, it's coming through the Nelson method. There you go. Okay, hold on. Bring that up for people to see. Oh, Daisy, now you are just challenging me a little bit. Hold on a second. Okay. Um. I think we've got to I think we've got to screen share this. Hold on. Just just speak so long. I'm, I'll get it there. Hold on. Okay. Well, basically, this is where uh, the system, when you hook up the system electronically, you are stimulating a maximum of uh, electroosmosis at the cellular level. This is sending a message to all of the all the pituitary, the hypothalamus, to every cell of the body. You're getting a message to wake up, 
and do your job. Now, since we auto-focus it, it isn't just sticking your finger into a wall socket. Number one, there's, there's a lot of rules in, in doing this. And then what our system is going to send in a little energy, look at your response, send in a little energy, and it, it auto-focuses it. And then even if your body changes, it's still trying to maximize your VAR hope, the voltage amperage resistance, and it's maximizing your electro potential. So that's what the system, and it, this is all happening automatically. And no other system in the world is, is doing this. So it's, uh, there you go. Now, basically the Nelson method, number one, we need to reduce the causes. I can't say stop the causes because that's impossible. We have to reduce that. Okay. Now, what we saw here about the cell membrane, uh, we need good fatty acids. And if you're living on foods boiled in oil, you're not getting good fatty acids. If you're eating French fries every day, you are destroying the fatty acids in your body. Your body's not going to be able to make good cells. So you have to stop eating uh, uh, cooked oil or foods that are fried in oil and start uh, working with light cooking, uh, stir fry, and those type of things. So you're doing very, we got to get good fatty acids into the body. That's, that's one of the causes of disease. After you reduce the causes of disease, we want to rebuild the organs. That's what our system is going to be doing. We're going to be able to send information into the body to be able to stimulate proper cell development. We're going to try to get them on a good diet, good exercise, good thought, good meditation. All of the this to help their body to uh, rebuild organs. And the best diet to be able to rebuild destroyed organs, if you if you have liver disease and your liver is a, is, is a, a problem, if you have cardiovascular destruction, if you have organic destruction, the best diet is going to be whole plant foods. The whole plant foods are able to supply the nutrients and the fiber to make those uh, chemicals in the bowel, and it is the, by far the best diet at, re at restoring function to destroyed organs. Then number three, we want to unblock the blockages. That's one of the things that the machine does automatically. It tries to unblock the blockages. And then number four, we want to treat symptoms, but we try to treat symptoms naturally, not, not synthetically. And there we go. Got a system of medicine. And exercise, nutrition. Exercise is a nutrient. Love is a nutrient. Respect is a nutrient. These are all nutrients. Living in the moment is a nutrient too. So why do you want to watch the next video I sent? Or? Okay, let me have a look. Is, uh, is it the second? Is there, I uh, only see one on... On Skype, I sent you two. I sent you two videos. Okay, let me try. Let me see if it's this one. <coughs> it's called the Psycho Neurological. Okay, that one came on WhatsApp. All right, let me go and get that. That's fine, too. You can do it. It came on WhatsApp, too. It did. I saw it there. Hold on a second. Um... Because now that we're going to recognize our body could fix the, the electro body, we also need to deal with the psychological and neurological components. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's not too long. Let's watch this.
You're not that poor. You can pay attention. It's very critical. Pay attention. You want to learn about natural medicine? Pay attention. Psychoneuroimmunology, the growing field of study that blends behavioral science, neurological, endocrine, and immune science all together. We've known for a long time that the mind, the body, the brain, the psychology, all of this is combined. That we have a physical body, a psychological body. There is psychosomatic disease where the brain affects the body. Then there's soma, psychotic disease where the body affects the brain. This is all one big cycle. We cannot really deal with separatism, reductionism. We have to deal with holism in the entire whole body if we're going to deal with the full human being. What we're discovering, bidirectional conversation between the inside and the outside, thoughts affect the physical body. The physical body affects the thoughts. The immunology, the hormones, all of this interrelated, that the brain communicates with the body through the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic, the sympathetic nervous system, all in a balance, fight or flight. All of this is very important. Rest or digest, immunity versus action. All of this has to be involved in a balance in order for us to achieve total health, to be able to process the factors in our mind and be able to deal with the things that life presents us. When the balance is off, then we get a one-sided signal. Everything is out of balance. We can calculate our energy index by measuring the blood pressure with the high rate and the low rate times the pulse. And we get down to an energy index. A perfect is 14,000. If it's too high, that means that you need potassium and you're oversympathetic nerves. You have turn on system, oversympathetic nerves. You need potassium, you need stress reduction. Now, keep in mind that a constant stress brain will create physical structures and create a decrease of the immune system. Now, when you have too low, you have sympathetic, the parasympathetic system. Now you need calcium, you need joy, you need activity, because everything is now too low in your system, back on the energy index. Neuropeptides respond to your emotion and the emotion to the neuropeptides that travel through the bloodstream and reduce the number of immune cells. So we have to reduce stress to build immunity. Physical changes that happen in the body make us then from stress, we get sick more often, decreased ability to fight serious infections, increased inflammation, pain, host of other things, chronic inflammation, autoimmune conditions, reoccurrent infections, Blood sugar, all of this can be done and created by brain psychological disturbances. The inflammatory system creates molecules that help to deal with stress, worry, repetitive thoughts. All in a balance of the autonomic nervous system, the fight, flight versus the immunity digestion. All of this happens. And sometimes there's a problem in the autonomic nervous system between the sympathetic and parasympathetic. This will create a vasovagal syncope, which means fainting, dizziness. These things happen as well. We have to learn how to deal with these things in biofeedback terms. As we start to deal with the emotion, it becomes apparent that the mind body needs to be addressed if we want to get to the root cause of any disease, of any patient. We need to understand that Disease begins in the gut, and only by stabilizing the gut flora can we start to treat mental health and disease. We have to be able to stabilize the bowel flora and recognize that inside the gut, all of the hormones that we need for good brain function are here, inside the gut, made by the bowel flora. The drug companies tried to make their synthetics, their unnatural, and they just didn't work. 
All of these brain hormones need to be made in the natural system of our gut. We need to recognize that if there's a problem, we can get leaky gut, leaky brain. And this is how there are many different problems of stress that happen inside the body. And now we're starting to recognize that fiber is so needed by the system that we all need to have fiber. And it's the whole plant foods that offer the best diet and weight loss formulas for ourselves. We have to get back to giving them fiber. Whole plant foods in the cell walls have the fiber that's needed to make all the hormones needed for life. So our psychoneuroimmunology is all connected. Everything's connected. The diet, the bowel flora, the brain, the immune system. And if we're going to be able to deal with patients, we have to be able to tell them what not to eat, all the factors of what not to eat. Don't eat synthetics, processed food. Don't eat the synthetic sweeteners, these patented sweeteners, they're really bad. We have to tell people, stop boiling foods in oil. French fries can kill. We have to tell them, get away from the white starchy potatoes and get something a little more healthy that they can go into getting the sweet potatoes, that the sweet potatoes have much more fiber and they fight cancer and they have much more vitamins. These are the things that we need. And we need to substitute in our diet. We need to strongly substitute the white potatoes by taking out them, putting in sweet potatoes, put in applesauce, apple smoothies for sugar, get rid of the processed sugar, get the high fiber applesauce, apple smoothie. Recognizing as we change these things, we can start to get back to health and deal with our psychology and deal with everything. And we need to recognize we have it we can pay attention, we can learn. Okay, so you can see uh, the first video about our machine turning on the body electric. Then we got to be able to ease the mind and bring it all together. Now I wanted to tell people we are still working on the software. We're still trying to get everything of our new software together. We just haven't turned the corner yet. Uh, the Venta, our chief programmer, was in an auto accident. He rode his car a couple of times. Uh, he's fine, uh, but he was in shock for about a week. <laughs> uh, he actually rode the car three times and came up without a plan. That's how good the cars are today. But yeah, but anyway, we're, we're getting everything together, and I hope that next week or the week after that I will be training people how to use the buttons. But believe me, these little things you need to know before we can do anything else, just certain things you need to know about the psychology and about our philosophy, you know, and that you've got to reduce the causes of disease. And if your people are still eating those French fries with, you know, two or three meals a day, my God, it's, it's you know, we, it's hard for us to help you. So do you have any questions for me today? Uh, well, just while we're waiting for some questions to come through, um, you know, this is where working with Desi, um, professor of um, medicine, is she's able to impart this unbelievable quantum medicine knowledge to us. Um, no one else on the planet can really do this. And I'm saying this from my space. Um, when you do the immune diploma, you are suddenly entering into a very vast space, infinite infinity, and you are resetting yourself just by doing the diploma, separately from even the idea that you will eventually get a license to practice and all the rest of it. You are actually gearing yourself up to be a proper quantum therapist. And this is, is not something that you can just buy from a university. You actually do need to sit and you need to do the hours. And this is what Desi has put together for us real knowledge, knowledge that we can take into our practices and share with people and share with the world right now. And the quality of the information that you're getting, for example, every single Saturday we say this, we just get into a higher, higher, higher space, a higher level and just opens up for us. 
this is what we are getting. It's not just a piece of paper. It's not a license that you're aiming for just to protect yourself medically and um, legally. You're, you're actually um, getting the tools to be a proper quantum therapist. And where you go from there is, is, is your space. But we all need to do this because unless we understand what we're doing, we, we're sitting with a device in front of us that's actually far superior to us. We don't know what we're doing. And really, um, Desi is making this so real for us. You know, when, when I see that slide coming across about autofocus, I understand fully now what it's about. No one else has been able to teach me that. So I'm really urging you to, to I've, I've, I've put a, um, a link on the chat show. I'm urging you to go into IMFlex, register, and, and it's a super sensory overload in there. There's information that you're not going to find on Dr. Google, quite frankly. And you'll have to mind very hard to find it if you do. This is, this is straight from Desi um, to the world, to us. So, um, yeah, I'm really, you know, stressing and, and emphasizing, if you want more of this, don't just wait only for a Saturday. There's more and even more and even more um, books and and information there. And and also, Desi's made it even more um, uh, easy for us to obtain devices. As she said, she's almost ready to, 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 to train us. And that's going to be even more unbelievable. So... Um, you know, make sure that you, you know, you're, you're, you, you've got a, a good device, that you've got the right software, and even better, she's even enabled us to pay one third of a, a QUEXED, which is is the grand ultimate of anything on the planet now. It's the upgrade of the upgrades, and um, literally, you pay a third, which is seven 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 euro seven 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 euros four sevens okay and then you pay the rest off over two years at one percent interest i mean what could be better one percent um, per month one yeah. percent per month over the the, the two-year period so um you know there's a, a lot of people now interested and i urge you also um you know contact me you reach us desi and and let's get ourselves absolutely ready for this amazing training that we're about to um embark on and what a privilege, what a privilege this lifetime. Um, you know, Daisy, thanks again, really. Um, thanks doesn't do justice to what you, you're doing for us. Um, well, while you were talking, I, uh, I fixed the video and I'm going to be downloading it, uh, downloading the new video. It'll take a little bit of time for you to, uh, but as soon as I do, I will give you the link again. So the video, okay. the first video you saw on this cellular metabolism, I, I fixed the voiceover problem. So uh, I'll send you the link. But if people, uh, uh, next week, if people should write in about what topics they want me to cover, uh, whether I think a good topic would be homeopathy, a uh, good mm -hmm. topic might be, uh, uh, you know, uh, you guys pick. And then uh, basically I'm still getting ready on that software but we just haven't turned a corner. It's so complex today. Everything is so complex. But you managed to simplify it for us. So, you know, thank you so much. You really do. And um, Desi, another good one would be anatomy and physiology, I think. Oh, okay. Well, I can start on to that. I can't do that in one course, but I could. No, let's, let's do that, I think, if you wouldn't mind, because just feedback from the students. Um, that would be phenomenal, and we've read. Yeah, I have actually. If you if you take my course on anatomy and physiology, you see that I've rewritten it. <laughs> I've rewritten the whole course on anatomy and physiology. It's a different. You did. Yeah. So, I'll I'll uh, I'll get that ready for next week. That's where that's where I'll start. All right, let's do that, and then um, Desi, thanks. There's one question there from Martha regarding. Uh, uh, some recommendation to treat stroke in the cerebellum that affected the balance in walking. I could not find specific protocol for strokes in the cerebellum, only treated sympathetics, motor brain, and all cerebellum. So she's looking for recommendations for it to treat stroke in the cerebellum affecting walking. How long ago was the stroke? Martha, you need to come in. How long ago was the stroke? 
Uh, so Martha, you need to answer if you want your you want your question answered. Well, we're not really getting an, any answer, but um, uh, I made it. We covered stroke a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Mm. Videos, and I have some. I have some really nice uh, electroceuticals for that. Uh, we do. Yeah, so I, I covered that. Uh, if you write that question to me on Skype, I could. I'll write back an answer. Okay. But they, I, they give, they're I need, giving us. I need to know giving, is, is, the stroke, is the stroke something that happened over the last month, or yes. is it that happened over the last year? No, the one one month ago. They've come through. Okay, great. That's what I need to do now. Write to me on on Skype the question, and I will make a professional answer for you. Okay, Martha, did you get that? But Jane, you just write to me on Skype, and I'll send I'll it to do you. it. Yes, Martha, just write to me, and I'll send it to Desi. Okay, perfect, Desi. I'm sure you want to want to to close. Um, it's been absolutely phenomenal again. If anybody wants. Um, some more of this information if you didn't get it exactly i'm very happy to um on tuesday at eight o'clock south african time um it is our immune live chat but i'm very happy to go through raising the the body electric charge and the the cell membrane and osmosis i'm very happy to do that with atp and everything i'm very happy to do that so just also put in the chat if you want to come in on this it is a private group but I'm happy to re redo this again because it is our, it is the essence. And if you have questions for me, let me know. And okay. questions for Des. Bye. Everybody, see ya. Ciao, Daisy. Thanks, Amul. All right. So um, you can see how excited I am about this. This is the real deal. This is the real thing. And um, it's pure, it's from the source. And it's just, I don't know, it's a total godsend for all of us. Um, you're not going to get this this kind of teaching anywhere else on the planet. You're just not. So um, I'm, I'm also honoring all of you for coming in and spending the time. You know, it's all very well me posting the recordings, but I wonder how many people actually do listen to them. So you guys who come in and spend the time, watch this video with her live. You get it on so many levels. It's You get it on really, you know, interdimensionally when she's on. Okay. We're so, we're so, so, so lucky. Goodness. All right, everyone. Thank yous, thank yous, thank yous, thank yous. We did it. We We're doing it. All right. Take this information, use it, understand it. As I said, as I said, if you want to come in on Tuesday, we can redo this literally piece by piece. Okay. Ciao.